This is Story Recapped. Today, I'm going to explain an action, drama, sci-fi, and adventure film called Okja. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Lucy Mirando welcomes her guests to her inauguration as she inherits the Mirando Corporation and promises a brand new era with new core values for the environment. Her twin sister Nancy previously inherited the corporation, but Lucy stresses that she's completely different from her. Amid global hunger, the Mirando Corporation announces that a super piglet was discovered on a farm in Chile. The corporation's scientists studied and cared for the super piglet until they reproduced 26 piglets using natural mating. The piglets are relocated to be cared for by esteemed farmers around the globe. The corporation encouraged the farmers to raise the piglets according to their own tradition and culture. Lucy highlights that the piglets will become the ancestors to the new generation of livestock. Lucy announces that the farmers will be competing against each other to raise the ultimate super pig. After 10 years, TV personality, zoologist and veterinarian Dr. Johnny Wilcox will choose the winning pig. Lucy promises that their super pigs will leave a minimal environmental footprint. But most importantly, they'll taste good. Ten years later, Mija blows dandelions on a mountain in South Korea. The large super pig she named Okja approaches her. Mija bonds with the super pig as they gather persimmons and fish from a spring. At the top of the mountain, Mija's grandfather, Hibong, returns home and uses the radio to broadcast his voice to call her back home. Mija has fallen asleep on Okja and doesn't hear her grandfather calling. When they wake up, they walk back home, but Okja hesitates when they reach a ledge. Mija ties a rope around Okja to cross together, but she ends up falling down the cliff. Okja grabs the rope to keep her from falling, but slips due to the slope. Okja finds a nearby branch and hurries to hook the rope onto it. Using herself as a weight, Okja lifts Mija back on the ledge while she falls into the woods. Mija climbs back down to search for Okja and finds her resting. Mija offers the pig a persimmon to give her thanks, but instead, Okja hoists herself up so Mija can hug her. That evening, Ibong tells Mija that Mr. Mundo will be visiting the next day. Mija wonders why Mundo will visit, since they've already completed their payments to buy Okja from the Mirando Corporation. The next day, Mundo arrives and finds Mija brushing Okja's teeth. He then sets up his laptop, so Mija takes a device from under Okja's ear to read Okja's health statistics. Suddenly, Johnny and his crew arrive. Johnny complains how the other super pigs were held on easily accessible farms, while he had to climb a mountain to get to Okja. His mood changes when he sees Okja, astonished by the healthy super pig. The crew starts filming Johnny with Okja, but neither Mija nor Hibong understands English. Johnny narrates that Okja's statistics have always impressed him. They then place a sash on Hibong and Mija, declaring them the winner. Hibong asks Mija to visit her parents' grave, since the crew will take a long time to film Okja. Mija doesn't want to, but Hibong pulls her away. While visiting the graves, Hibong presents Mija with a golden pig as a gift, explaining the tradition of giving daughters a golden pig for good luck before their wedding. Hibong notes that she can keep the golden pig while Okja is taken away. Mija argues that they already bought off Okja, but Hibong confesses that the corporation didn't allow him to buy her, so he saved up the money to buy Mija the golden pig instead. Despite Mija's anger, Hibong calmly tells her that Okja won as the best pig and will be taken to the Mirando building in Seoul before getting on a plane to America. Hibong insists that Mija is almost a grown woman, so she shouldn't be playing with a pig all day. Furious, Mija slams the golden pig onto the ground and races home. However, by the time she reaches home, Okja and the crew are gone. She runs down the mountain and reaches the main road, but doesn't find them. That evening, Mija returns home, and her grandfather pretends that nothing is wrong. Soon, he realizes that Mija is gathering things, including the golden pig. So she reveals that she's going to Seoul to get Okja back. When he points out that she has no money, she breaks their piggy bank and gathers as many coins as possible. Hibong tries to stop her and reminds her that Okja was always meant to be sold for her meat. This only infuriates Mija further and she runs off. Mija arrives in the Mirando building in Seoul the next day and asks for Mundo over the telecom. The automated operator doesn't understand her and the receptionist ignores her. So Mija slams herself against the glass doors. The glass doors break and Mija infiltrates the office but finds it empty. 
When the receptionist and guard chase her, Mija locks herself in a conference room. From there, she spots Okja being forced into a truck outside, while Mundo bars the media from snapping photos of the pig. Mija rushes outside, while Mundo gets on the truck to transport Okja. Mija reaches the parking lot, but the truck is already driving away. She runs after the truck and hops on the roof. Soon, the truck enters a tunnel that's too low, so Mija rushes to the back and hangs on the door. Okja senses her outside and groans. A black truck drives by them, and the driver of the other truck calmly orders them to stop the truck. When Mundo gets confused, the other truck drives to their side, and a few masked people greet them in English. They insist that Mundo puts on his seatbelt, because they'll be boarding their truck. Upon reaching another tunnel, the black truck slams against the Mirando truck, causing Mija to fall. The masked people aim guns at the Mirando workers, while assuring them that they come in peace. Mundo's door is stuck, so he calls for help instead. The people inside attempt to break Okja free, while another masked man spray paints the truck. The Mirando driver is simply amused by the events. Once they get Okja free, she starts to fight back until she hears Mija's voice. The two run to each other, and Okja tosses Mija on her back to give her a ride. She then runs out of the tunnel, so the masked people get on the truck to chase after them. Mundo orders his driver to chase them too, but he doesn't bother since he doesn't even have a company contract. Mija pushes Okja into a subway station, where the civilians panic upon seeing the large pig. Okja's large body causes chaos in the subway, destroying stalls and knocking down shelves. Soon, Okja slips, and the masked people reach them. They pick up Mija and defend them from tranquilizer darts using umbrellas. The masked people fight off the guards, and Mija is confused as she watches them. Meanwhile, the Mirando driver notices the graffiti painted on the truck, and identifies the group as the Animal Liberation Front, or ALF. With the police arriving, the group takes Mija and Okja away and into their truck. When the police get near, one man throws marbles onto the floor to stop them. Mundo continues to chase them, and spots Mija. To stop him, Mija encourages Okja to defecate on him. Once the coast is clear, the group unmasks and introduces themselves as K, Red, Silver, Blonde, and the leader, J. With K translating, J assures Mija that they rescue animals and set them free, hence why they took Okja. The ALF aims to financially cripple those who profit from animal cruelty without harming anyone, human or non-human. Mija shares that Okja is supposed to be taken to New York City for the Super Pig Parade, but they reveal that the Mirando Corporation meant to take Okja to a laboratory in New Jersey first. Contrary to the Mirando Corporation's claims, Okja and the other Super Pigs are genetically mutated animals created in the same laboratory. More Super Pigs have already been developed in the laboratory, and the Super Pig competition was just a promotional stunt. ALF wants to stop Mirando Corporation, but they need video footage of what happens inside the laboratory. Jay insists that they need Mija's permission to use Okja to gather the footage they need using a device similar to the one Okja has on her ear. Their device has a hidden camera that'll send them the footage from the laboratory. Mija is conflicted in putting Okja in danger, but Jay assures Mija that the Mirando Corporation won't harm Okja, since they need her to be perfect for the parade in New York. He promises that they will also rescue Okja once she reaches New York City. Jay adds that the mission will save millions of super pigs from slaughter, and asks Mija to allow them to do so. Mija says no, but Kay translates her words as a yes. The group then opens the truck and waves at the police cars chasing them. Silver goes ahead and jumps into the water, followed by the rest. After the others leave, Kay tells Mija to learn English before jumping out. They stop the truck, leaving Mija and Okja to the police. The Mirando Corporation receives news about Okja's attempted kidnapping. The board members assure Lucy that the ALF failed. Still, Lucy is bothered that the ALF deem her a psychopath like her father and sister. While she rants about her family, her associate, Frank Dawson, secretly calls her sister to let her listen in. Lucy rants that she was studying to envision a better way to do business, while Nancy dumped toxic waste into a lake that caused it to explode. Lucy points out that her vision to transform the once-hated agrochemical company into a likable pig-rearing company was working, until the fiasco with Okja. She laments that it made them look like the bad guys, since it was televised that Mirando employees forcibly took a young girl away. 
Frank ponders if Lucy plans to invite Mija into the Super Pig Festival, and she excitedly announces how Mija and Okja's reunion will bring the people's faith back. She even suggests turning Mija into the new face of the corporation, but Johnny points out that it's his job. Lucy tells him to shut up, so Johnny mournfully announces that he's reconsidering his options, but it doesn't threaten her, since he's already a failed star. Soon, Ebong bails Mija out of detention, and the Mirando employees film their reunion. They then talk Hebong into agreeing to make Mija Mirando Corporation's commercial model, but Mija isn't compliant. They usher her into the airport, where the press avidly takes her photos. Meanwhile, Lucy receives a call from Nancy, and assures her sister that the Super Pig strategy remains a success. Nancy, however, isn't convinced. In New Jersey, the ALF follows the truck transporting Okja and sees that their hidden camera is working. That evening, they see Okja walking in the laboratory where more super pigs are caged. A drunk Johnny greets her and introduces her to a male super pig. The ALF watch as they force the two pigs to mate. The members cannot stomach what's happening, and out of guilt, K finally confesses that he lied about Mija giving them permission. Angry, Jay beats K for breaking the ALF's code and bans him from the group. Later, Johnny drunkenly rants about how Lucy humiliated him. In retaliation, he wants to hurt Okja without leaving a mark to maintain her appearance for the parade. Suddenly, Lucy's assistant, Jennifer, calls with Mija behind her. Mija takes the phone and starts yelling for Okja, causing the super pig to react to her voice and startle Johnny. Johnny hits Okja and takes a device to discreetly take pieces of her meat. Johnny laments that he used to be an animal lover before stabbing Okja with the device. The meat is then presented to testers, who claim that it's the best they've ever had. On the day of the parade, the audience is given Mirando's new jerky for free while Jennifer prepares Mija for the show. They realize that Mija has been learning English on her own, so they have to be careful with what they say around her. Mija insists on seeing Okja first, but Jennifer stresses that they have the pig, so if she wants to go back home with her, she must do what they want. Mija goes to another room to put on her costume, but finds Jay hiding there. He uses placards to apologize and promise her that they'll rescue Okja. He instructs her that when they free Okja, she must run and not look at the screen behind her. He then climbs out the window and joins the crowd in the parade. Meanwhile, Frank visits Lucy while she's getting ready and reveals that Nancy is in the city, rattling Lucy. Outside, Johnny starts the show and excites the audience. He recounts how the competition began before introducing Lucy to the stage. Lucy then welcomes Mija and presents Okja coming in from a floor. Float. Mija takes out a persimmon from her bag, but when Okja comes out, she's distraught. Suddenly, the screen on stage shows the footage taken from the laboratory, and Jay walks up the stage, telling Mija not to look at the screen. Lucy begs someone to turn off the screen, as their animal cruelty is exposed. ALF members come out and help take Okja away as the crowd goes wild. During this, Frank enjoys dinner with Nancy. They see the chaos at the parade, so Nancy tells Frank to call for police assistance. Okja continues to panic and even bites Mija. Jay grabs a mic stand to save her, but she blocks it from harming Okja. Mija instead hugs her pig to calm her as the ALF deal with the police. After calming down, Okja licks Mija's wounds and follows the rest to escape. Silver and Blonde throw themselves onto the officers while Red collapses some pipes to allow the others to escape. Still, the officers capture Okja's feet and pull her off the truck. Jay gets captured, but he fights back to pull Mija away as the truck drives back to deter the officers. Finally, Lucy reunites with her sister, Nancy. Nancy sarcastically comments that at least Lucy wasn't a loser for a while. Nancy promises to shield her sister from the public, but doesn't intend to help her with any lawsuits. She then orders Frank to proceed with a plan, since they already have the FDA approval. Despite public outcry, Nancy is confident that consumers will still eat their product as long as it's cheap. She orders Frank to shut down the laboratory and process all super pigs for production, including Okja. Later, Jay realizes that Kay is driving the truck that saved them. When Mija wakes up in the truck that evening, Jay tells her they're going to Okja, who's already in the slaughterhouse. They reach the factory where countless super pigs are waiting for slaughter. They search through the pig pens for Okja until Mija spots her being forced into the building. Mija infiltrates the building and sees super pig carcasses hanging overhead. The meats are then cut and sealed for the market. Finally, she sees where the pigs are executed. Okja is next, so Mija stops the man. 
J and K arrive at the scene, as well as Nancy and her men. Mija asks Nancy why she wants to kill Okja, and Nancy explains that they can only sell the dead pigs. Nancy then gives the signal to execute Okja, so Mija takes out the golden pig from her bag and offers it to buy Okja. After confirming that it's authentic gold, Nancy agrees and orders Frank to ensure that Mija and Okja get home safely. Mija and Okja walk away, mournfully ignoring the gunshots that kill the remaining super pigs. A couple of super pigs walk by them and toss their young to Mija's feet. Mija quickly grabs the piglet and hides it inside Okja's mouth before the guards notice. She cries as the parents and other super pigs howl, as if saying goodbye. Weeks later, Mija is living peacefully with Okja and the new piglet. They return home to Mija's grandfather, and Mija leans to Okja as if she understands her moans. Meanwhile, Jay is released from prison and boards a bus with the other ALF members. Kay tells Jay that they have more supporters, and introduces the former Mirando bus driver who recently joined the team. They then put on their masks to begin their new operations to bring down the Mirando Corporation. Subscribe to watch more videos like this turn on notifications and leave a like it really helps the channel out thank you for watching